visit the new Memorial Park, located at the corner of South Potomac Street and Memorial Boulevard. This marks the 19th park in the city's park system. It tells Hagerstown's history and shares the stories of our city's most accomplished residents. This spring, the community dedicated the Circle of Achievement, which pays tribute to those citizens who made a significant impact, both in our city and beyond Hagerstown's borders. We'll be adding new inductees each year, but here are the first honorees in the Circle of Achievement. Jacob Wheaton is believed to be the first African American to cast a vote in the state of Maryland after the Civil War. He was also a pioneer for African Americans in Washington County, being the first court officer and the first to serve on a pettit jury. Wheaton advocated for African Americans to be educated beyond middle school, which led to the creation of a full 12-year program that started at the North Street School. Hagerstown's Wheaton Park is now named in his honor. He was represented at the dedication by his grandson, 97-year-old John Hayward Wheaton of New Jersey. Edward Mobley organized volunteers from Hagerstown to serve in the Civil War. He was recognized for his bravery in battle, receiving a serious neck wound while defending his regiment's flag from capture by the rebels. Mobley commanded the regiment at the surrender of Robert E. Lee's army. Mobley's great-grandson, Charles Jim Mobley, accepted the honor in the circle. This Korean War veteran advocates for veterans in the community today. Anna Spencer Brewsinger was born in Hagerstown, but she traveled the world in pursuit of her love for the arts, acquiring artwork and antiques. With the help of her husband, she founded the Washington County Museum of Fine Arts in City Park and donated over 100 pieces of her collection. You can visit the Singer Gallery today. Singer's great-grandnephew, George A. Hatcher Jr., unveiled the plaque in her honor. Perhaps the most widely known historical figure in Hagerstown is that of our founder, Jonathan Hager. The German immigrant built a home which still stands today in City Park. He was a leading citizen of the city, farmer, cattleman, gunsmith, and a volunteer captain of scouts during the French and Indian War. Juliana Watts is Hager's great-great-great-great-great-granddaughter. She was proud to unveil the plaque made in his honor. William Thomas Hamilton, a prominent businessman and attorney, sat on several boards across the community to advocate for changes in the city's infrastructure. During the Confederate ransom, he helped successfully negotiate Hagerstown's safety. Hamilton went on to serve as a U.S. Senator and Maryland's governor. He was represented in the Circle of Achievement dedication by his great-grandson, Richard Hamilton, who is a leading businessman and philanthropist in the community today. Jesse Duncan Elliott was born in Hagerstown and raised on South Potomac Street. A prominent military figure, he was an American naval commander during the Battle of Lake Erie in the War of 1812, when he and another captain captured an entire squadron of British ships. He was later awarded the Congressional Gold Medal. Elliott's great-great-great-grandson, Jay Sumrall of Bucks County, Pennsylvania, unveiled the tributary plaque in the park's Circle of Achievement. Mary Lemis Titcomb was the first director of the Washington County Free Library, where she served for over 30 years. She was an innovator in library systems, establishing 66 book stations across the county. She also created the first bookmobile in the United States. Mary Bicon, the current executive director of the Washington County Free Library, continues Titcomb's legacy today and graciously accepted the honor on her behalf. William Preston Lane Jr. was a lifelong Hagerstonian who served as Maryland's Attorney General, where he gained national attention for his prosecution and civil rights cases. Lane went on to serve as governor, leading the way for improvements to the state's highway system, including the construction of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, which is named in his honor. Edward Q. Goddard, Lane's grandson, represented him in unveiling his plaque in the Circle of Achievement. William Othello Wilson was born and raised in Hagerstown. He enlisted as a Buffalo soldier and was recognized for his bravery, volunteering to deliver a message under heavy fire when other scouts refused to take on the duty. He was awarded a Medal of Honor, and now the Medal of Honor Triangle in the Jonathan Street neighborhood serves as a tribute to his heroism. Othello's granddaughter-in-law, Mary Jones, traveled from New Jersey to attend the dedication and display his original Medal of Honor. Thomas Kennedy was an advocate of religious liberty, making a case for Jewish equality. While representing Hagerstown in the Maryland legislature, he proposed a bill to extend the same rights to hold public office to both Jews and Christians. The measure was initially unsuccessful and Kennedy was defeated in re-election, but he won a seat the following term and pushed the bill into law. Councilmember Louis C. Metzner, also a member of the congregation B'nai Abraham, represented Kennedy at the Circle of Achievement dedication. 
Henry Kyde Douglas served as an officer with General Stonewall Jackson's personal staff during the Civil War. He was wounded six times, and the brigade he commanded was the last to surrender at Appomattox. Following the war, he was highly regarded by veterans of both the North and the South, and he worked to mend relations among Union and Confederate sides. Douglas's great-grandniece, Julia Beckenbaugh Dagenhart, accepted the honor in the Circle of Achievement on his behalf. Matthias Peter Moeller founded some of the most successful businesses in Hagerstown's history, including the Moeller Organ Factory. It grew to become the largest in the world, producing over 11,000 instruments. Moeller also had a hand in automobile manufacturing and was a leading developer in Hagerstown's hotel, real estate, and banking industries. Kevin Moeller, Matthias's grandson, unveiled the tribute plaque in his family's honor. Memorial Park visitors will also find the Pathway to Character, which promotes the six pillars of the Character Counts program. It's included in the park to show that those in the Circle of Achievement are not only commended for their actions, but also for the content of their character.